Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games. And we have a premiere. Oh. Not a premiere, but an exclusive. An exclusive! That's similar to a premiere! It is. It's a premiere of a new version of Space Pac Man by oh. Ricardo Pym, who is in the chat, I believe. I don't think you've played Space Pac Man. I have not. Which is great, because you'll get to experience it. Uh, and we're also going to be playing Electro Ball by Mike Flitoe. Is Flitto. Space Pac-Man in a space station or playing around in space? It looks like he comes from... He's, he's falling from space. Oh. Uh, he's a fiery ball of Pac-Man falling from space. Okay. And you have to deal with that situation. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, thank you to all our Twitch subscribers for supporting the show who are scrolling down the side near Darcy. 8-Bit Swami Al the Fur Arms Card Coder, Atari Age, Azura, Bomberman, Pierre Pocock, Buck Owens, Cafe Man, 2D, Charles and Check, Charles Wheel and Chive 5, Coconut Deanoid, Dale Andrew Darling, Dan if you see Drex, all this guy, Dr. Moo Cows, Emu Dan, Great Offender, Ground Trooper, I supposed to Jedekiah, Johnny WC, Carl G, Mark Space Inc., Metal Atari, Metal Lunar Myth Muse, Mike Soul, Mike Litau, Miss Command, MK Smith, Mr. Zarna, with Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, Nostalgic, 26, Packrap, Quahog, RC70, Render Goes for Repentless VG, Ricardo Pem, at Ars it all, Smitty B, Socrates, Spice, where S. Ramirez, the D Train, and Welsh, Many, Nine, Tiki Dan K, Timothy, Timothy Lamphere, and Trek MD. And if you'd like to get your name on that list, just click subscribe. Uh, it's free if you have Amazon Prime and link it to Twitch. And if you don't have Amazon Prime, it's not free. So it's your choice. Um, and <laughs> make sure you follow us so that uh, on Twitch so you know when the show is live. Because it's live right now. Yeah, Darcy is munching on nuts. For and us, I am this, too. Is, this is always my first meal of the day. Is the nuts? The on, bowl of nuts? On the Friday, yeah. Mmm. Yeah. Tasha's always hungry and Tanya's always thirsty. <laughs> um, you've got a drink too, right? You've got mm -hmm. some coffee? Mm-hmm. He's making me hungry and thirsty. Um, and thank you to everybody tuning in live on Twitch. We broadcast live on Twitch. And some people watch it later on YouTube, but these are the people that are here right now. Ricardo Pem, the developer of Space Pac-Man. S. Ramirez, Thrust26, watching from Europe. Crossbow. Uh, Neo Media, uh, Danny VC, Oceanix 42, um, Carl G, uh, Alnifer, mm, who else? Who else? Armscar Coder, uh, Vitoko was here briefly, um, and everybody else who is lurking as well. One way. One way? One way. He's crying. I don't know what that means one way. Um, okay. We have a lot of news, but first we have some mail. Let's open up oh. the mail. Which may or not may not be related to the show, but I'm pretty sure both of it is. Let's see if I can open this up in a timely fashion. If not, we'll ask oh. Atari. Yeah, just chew on it. He does destroy cardboard he has a cardboard um i guess bed because he uses it for a bed upstairs mm. and he rips it apart not only with his claws but his teeth he takes big chomping bites <laughs> out of the corner and then throws it away and then goes back in and chomps again um let's see what this is oh Oh, oh. Mm. Mm. this is not what I expected, actually. Um, so these are, um, I believe, Some replacement thumbsticks. buttons and joysticks for the Jaguar, oh. which I don't have a Jaguar, except for that cat. Um, and this is uh, from the same person who made the joysticks, uh, Bratwurst. He also makes these replacement buttons. Um, so uh, let me just show you, actually, you guys. Um, I won't be able to use them because I don't have a Jaguar yet. 
but I am hoping to get one soon-ish. There we go. So there's two different kinds. Kind of a D-pad and a uh, thumbstick as well in black and red. Very, very cool. Why did you get them then? Mm -hmm. Because I am going to have a Jaguar. <laughs> and and Bratwurst knows that I'm going to get one, and he thought he would send them over to me since I've been uh, pimping out his joystick forever because it's that good. Um so thank you very much, Bratwurst. It's very, very nice of you. Oh, there he is in the chat. Nice, they arrived. He is here to see it. Yes, thank you. I'm looking forward to uh, using them when I get my Jaguar. They are very expensive Jaguars. Um, I do want to get two controllers so we can play two-player games, of course. Mm -hmm. But they're about uh, five. I brought these so that there was something to look at in the uh, cat cam if there were no cats. Oh, when the cats ran away. Um, they're about $500 Canadian, which is eh, oh. eh, is not a small amount. Um, but it is a console that didn't sell very well, so that means there's less of them. And So the Jaguar, when you say Jaguar, you're talking about the console. Console, Atari no, Jaguar. Joystick. Yeah, it's an I mean, Atari right. Jaguar. It was their last... Hurrah at making consoles. Atari. It sounded like a controller to me. I think... It... Oh. Banhammer. I don't want to be famous. Oh. <laughs> I want to be this level of uh, known right now. <laughs> Which is almost none. <laughs> uh, known at retro gaming conventions. <laughs> Just barely. How about that? That's a good level of being known. Not walk down the street and uh, be mobbed by people. That's not super fun. Um, oh, it is this. It is a uh, cartridge for the Atari 8-bit no computers. Mm. Um, it is Load Runner, a very fun game. Of collecting gold and digging holes and trapping enemies in those holes. Very, very fun game. Um, yeah, so I'll be playing this at some time. Never? Never? A little, little rattly. Good instrument. Don't shake it. Yeah, I do, I do like the this style of cartridge. It's very similar to uh, Commodore 64 cartridge. Mm. It's about the yeah, size yeah. of one. Oh, 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 almost got it stuck. There we go. So that is the mail. Um, very very nice bonus stuff I was expecting completely different things actually <laughs> so that was a nice surprise um so we showed the uh, flying toaster atari 2600 screensaver uh the other week uh august 31st episode um do you remember the screensaver suite for like pcs and it was called after dark and it was a bunch of different screensavers. And one, the most famous one was Flying Toasters. I think I, that sounds familiar. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's way, way back. Mm -hmm. um, but Rodney, R. Sidal, has been making a ton more of them. Um, so let's take a look at the originals of these uh, screensavers. Oh, the chair is blocking my view. There we go. That's better. Mm, so, I'm not sure I did see this one. <laughs> no. Actually, I may want to mute this. Just in case. They've uh, copyrighted it. So this is, um, this is the Flying Toaster one. And this is the most famous of all those. Uh, then there was also... This one is called Transition uh, Fish Pro. I guess there was a non-pro version of the fish at one point. <laughs> I don't know what makes it pro. Bubbles, the rocks, the addition of the orange. Is, fish. is somebody fish? Does somebody catch them? Uh oh no, oh, that's the end of the preview of that one. Uh, uh -oh. and then. Another one, and I'm showing these ones specifically. Oh, let's 
take it back just a little bit here. Uh, this one is called Moen Man. And I'm showing these ones because he's adapted these uh, yeah, for yeah. 2600. So he's made a couple more. Those are more professional fish. <laughs> the lawnmower one is currently my favorite. And I said that as well. Yeah. Um, to um, a Rodney. Okay, so those are the original ones that um, oh, are... I like that the grass is growing everywhere on the screen. <laughs> yes. Not just the parts he's mowed. <laughs> it's growing back. And it's growing over the screen. Yeah. And that was kind of the cool thing about <clears throat> the screensaver. Was that... Oh, why is it on that mode? Uh, let's go big. There we go. Was that they took your screen and probably just took like a screenshot of it. And then changed it or drew over it bit by bit um okay so let's take a look at the 2600 versions of them Ready. so if you can go down to today's date and we'll take a look at the flying toasters first uh go to the valkyries one that one's a bit more fun. Because it's got sound. So I think it starts. No, you have to press the button to start. So he's got two sets of flying toast and toasters. And I believe you can press up and down on the joystick to change the. Uh, Burnination of the toast uh, of one and then down for the other one. Oh, you made them all <laughs> gone. I burnt all the Completely toast. Completely burnt, so black you can't even see them. There we go. Uh, has anyone here messed with the 8 bit Unity stuff on Atari computer yet? Um, have we played any of the 8 bit Unity? Because there is. Yeah, we did. What game was it? There's a development platform called 8 bit Unity. And you make oh, a game. Okay. I knew there was Unity. I didn't. Was wondering if that was the same thing. Yeah. Uh, I think it's just borrowing the name. I don't know if it's officially mm. part of it. But you make a game in this Unity, and it can be uh, uh, made or built for C64, Atari, and a whole slew of 8-bit uh, uh, platforms. Mm. So you just go click, and you've got all the games for every platform. Oh yeah, Slicks, 8-Bit Slicks. Played 8-Bit Slicks and there's a whole bunch of other ones, yeah. Okay, so let's like take a look at the other screensavers that he's made. So he's made Flying Toasters, Aquarium, do that one, um, uh, Starry Night, and Lawnmower. Mm. So he's got- How do you shoot them? <laughs> oh, you can change things. Uh, <laughs> I don't think you can shoot them. It's not a game. The invaders, they're getting closer. These are more like demos, screensavers. So he's got crabs, seahorses. Oh, mm -hmm. the, the color changes. Some dancing seaweed. Maybe those are plankton. Um, a yellow fish and a red fish. These would make a nice compilation. Yeah, if he could like put them all together into one thing, that would be really cool. And you can select which one with the select switch or even the button. Mm-hmm. Or, they, or you could have them on rotate automatically. There's an idea. Okay, let's go to Starry Night. Except that it had that yellow band at the bottom, mm -hmm. and that would burn in your screen at the bottom it, while the whole rest of the screen was being it was saved. Changing. It was changing. But it was only changing on the edges. Mm. It was still like the bright band. Yeah. That's my criticism. There you go. You can do an update to it. It's very valid. <laughs> very valid. Uh, no, Star Knight. I'm uh, leaving Lawnmower to last. Cause that's oh, my, it's, I didn't realize that favorite. there was another one we hadn't seen. Mm. So I couldn't find the equivalent in After Dark for this one. So it's like, it's getting darker, and the buildings are coming up, and people are turning on the lights in their buildings in a big city. I'm going to guess New York City. Maybe not. Uh, they also include templates to help build your own games. Oh, very cool. 
Okay, and we're going to the last one. I don't own an 8-bit uh, computer yet, but it looks like a cool time to get in. FujiNet looks cool as heck. Oh, yeah, it's time to get in. Grab yourself an Atari computer. Lawnmower. Go for it. Uh, revision 2 is my favorite. Very dark on this screen. No, you can't do anything. I just thought maybe that I could less burn the grass. Is that how dark it is on the computer? This is so dark. We've had that before, haven't we, where it was like darker on the... Yeah. Oh, it's so much darker. Why is it so dark? My goodness. Is there some jitter? Yeah. Oh, there is a little bit of jitter. When it finishes... Oh, there it is. Well, yeah. I thought it was just an earthquake. <laughs> yeah, mowing during a, during an earthquake. That is very dark. I have no idea. Um, I'll have to check that out. Oh, it looks better. And you're not sitting down. No, no, it's it's. But it's also dark. Yeah, if you're doing this, output. it doesn't look as jittery. <laughs> <laughs> it's the coffee. It's the coffee. <laughs> okay. Ready. So, uh, very cool. I don't know if he's making more of them, but those are really, really nice ones. Mm -hmm. um, we played Enduro last show um, in the After Dark. It's a racing game. And you have to complete... It's an Activision game where you can get a patch. And I was trying to get the patch. One of the patch challenges. Um, there's some ambiguity to how when you earn the patch. Because in the manual, it says you get the patch after five days of driving or enduring five days of driving. Mm -hmm. But it also says you get the patch when the trophy comes up on the screen. And in the game, the trophy comes up on the screen at the beginning of day five. Mm. So... Um, a trophy trumps ambiguity. Uh, yes. <laughs> I found this thread, but it, it really doesn't go anywhere. The person who developed the game, it says uh, his name is Larry Miller, um, who also made Spider Fighter, which is one of the best 2600 games, old school. Uh, I visited Larry Miller in Connecticut in 2018, and he came to visit me in January 2019 before the pandemic. He's been working with a company developing portable ultrasound machine called Butterfly. He said the blah, 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 blah. I will continue to post. And then somebody asked him right after, uh, or recently, that was July 14th, and this was on Tuesday, can you contact him and ask if in Enduro you need to get to the fifth day or through the fifth day to get the patch? The wording in the manual and when the trophy appears conflict. Um, and then somebody says, if you get to the fifth day or in the patch... Um, Something I didn't truly understand until a few months ago, missing the cutoff for the patch by 36 odd years. Um, and we were talking about it during the show, and I posted this. Uh, so close, 18 cars away to earning the Activision patch for Enduro last night, according to some. <laughs> uh, we were debating last night during Z ZPH's After Dark about the seemingly conflicting information in the manual about when the patch is achieved in Enduro. The manual says... Do you have the drive, the stamina, the grit to endure this race for five days or more? Now, if you endure five days or more, that means you do you race for five days, mm -hmm. not make it to the fifth day, because that's not enduring five days. That's enduring okay, if four days. If you were looking days. at this quote, yeah. I can answer for you right now. It says, do you have the drive, the stamina, the grit to endure this race for five days or more. If so, an on-screen trophy will pop up before your eyes. Mm -hmm. It doesn't say you earn the trophy if you do that. It just says a trophy will pop up before your eyes. Is there more to it than that? Because the five days or no. more is just a preamble. <laughs> it is. It's yeah. literally, like, yeah. literally just a preamble. I'm not, I'm not just taking a side. It's just saying, oh, here's some fun questions for you. <laughs> and then it says a trophy will pop up on your yes. screen. Yes. It's like... Like the beginning part doesn't like that doesn't qualify whether you're getting a trophy at all. No, so it like doesn't. If it implies. It but just it, doesn't it just qualify. sets a setting, 
And it doesn't say you need five days or more. It just asks if you could do it for five days or more. Yes. And then it says the trophy will pop up on your screen. If the trophy pops up on your screen, the trophy has popped up on your screen. <laughs> yes. So where does it say you get the patch? Uh, it doesn't explicitly tie the trophy to the patch. But that's under the heading of how to get a patch. Then you'd get it by getting the trophy on your screen. Right. And I said, the problem is the trophy pops up on the screen after you finish four full days, not for five days or more. I guess you could say that you race in five different days, but you definitely no, don't but race we just, four we don't, or five we don't days. No, but we, we don't have to guess. Yeah. It doesn't, it doesn't say that you have to do five days or no, more. No, it does not. It doesn't say that. No. And it doesn't say you get the, tro you get the patch with the trophy either i'm not also i'm not rules lawyering here yeah, yeah. it's just literally it doesn't say you need five days yeah, or more to it, get the patch it literally doesn't it doesn't say when you get the patch at all but if it's tied to the trophy Got then it. the trophy shows up and you get it on day four and cafe man says if you see the trophy you've earned the patch yeah and then omega matrix says i agree with cafe man the trophy is meant to signify you've earned the patch the display in the game is clearly counting the days as the days you start on i believe the intent was to make it to day five and the Trophy appearing equals patch, which makes total sense. I understand what you mean by completing in terms of effort. By day six, it would be a full five days of time and effort. But I'm pretty confident Larry made the trophy appearing deliberate to signify earning a patch. That seems pretty fundamental. They would have had a lot of angry kids otherwise. Yes, because huh. you'd be like, oh, I took a picture. When the trophy's on the screen, well, I sent it in. And they're going, oh, you didn't complete five days. It could be that they made a mistake in programming it. That, but that is not unlikely. your problem. That's that is not your problem. No, it's not. It doesn't even matter whether <laughs> whether it's whether it's likely or more likely. It is irrelevant. The yes. only thing that matters is is the trophy. The thing that indicate yes. does the trophy show up when you've gotten the trophy? <laughs> yes. And it does. So, yeah. So I I am going to take it as the trophy means patch because everybody seems to agree that's yeah. what it means. It doesn't even sound um, like. And Thrust says, maybe we should fix the game so it matches the dock. Yeah, so you could make it so the trophy pops up. But it's still not... Up. It's it's like... It would it would match the spirit of what mm. the dock is is pointing at. Anyways, and, yeah. and Crossbow says, it could be a misprint. It may it may mean four. Like, they could have put four. And yeah, the, the typo could have just been day four. Yeah, yeah. 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 It, it, Which is much more likely than programming it completely wrong. Yeah, like the person writing the copy heard day five and took it to be completing five yes. days and not making it that to five too. days like the like with, it could have been passed the notes could have been passed to somebody the person up the, the person or they might have passed no notes they might have just said you got to get to day five and yeah. the person like, you got to finish day five <laughs> right like it's like the telephone game a miss a miss hearing yeah. yeah yeah um so i'm gonna take it as um uh, or originally start on day zero possibly possibly um so yeah I was 18 cars away from it. I am going to complete it next time, no matter what happens. Uh, okay. Uh, Sorry, you did get the trophy? Come no, up or no, I didn't. Oh, okay. I was 18 cars away. And I was like, well, was I 18 cars away? Or was I a day and 18 cars away? But I was actually 18 cars away. Uh, so, exciting news. Uh, Champ Games revealed the uh, cover art. For their new game coming out, Robot War 2684. Uh, he said, he, um, John said, here's a first look, or Champ Games said, but it's John. Uh, here's a first look at the amazing artwork by David Exton, created for the upcoming release of Champ Games Robot War 2684, soon to be available in the Atari Age store. Uh, looks amazing. Here's a bigger close up of it. Let's go to the the front of it and i made a comment saying that it looks like a mix between an 80s sci-fi vhs cassette and a sci-fi novel from like the i don't know 70s just just the style of the artwork and just that uh red border there really looks like a vhs like a kind of crappy vhs tape that I you kind of feel like the 80s for the 80s for the, oh, 80s for the art well, i'm too. not sure yeah no you I mean, might be right like i don't know when that kind of art got popularized in like i think those colors sci-fi novels i think those colors were like that's full 80s. 80s colors yeah that might that might be what i'm thinking of the striping reminds and it's me that of the, the art isn't 
the the art isn't liney. It's not line no. art. And like the seventies, I just think that it would be less. Like this looks like there's the color is drawing more of it than right. I would expect in the seventies. Would be harder like outlines, <laughs> right? I don't know anything about art, so <laughs> disregard. Do not do not imprint. <laughs> do not use burn any brain cells with this information. Do not store it. I'm right. like making this up as I go, but I I'm. I'm not lying. That's what I think. But you know, does Darcy know the game? Oh, did you play? Did we play this? I okay. think so. Oh, okay. Well, we'll have to play it when uh, I get the uh, cartridge and I get the box. Um, in the tw year twenty six eighty four, humanity fights for survival against an evil robot menace. Do you have the skill to battle through two hundred fifty six <clears throat> waves? I do not. Of enemies. Okay, sorry. I I just have to pause. Yep. If it's really an evil robot menace. This suggests that it is not a cold robot menace. Yes. That the robot menace has, um, you know, like like it's their people. <laughs> right. And this changes how I feel. I don't. I can't tell you whether or not the robots are right or the humans are right because, of course, the humans would call the robots evil. They're of the course. enemy. So well, that puts me in a much more neutral position than. They could At be first calling been the robots evil, even though the robots don't have an evil intent. They just view them as evil yeah. based on their programming. Yeah. And their programming could be quite logical. Oh, for... uh, okay. You, you, you're correct. It could be that they're not evil at all, <laughs> that they are just robots. Well, and that, they're, that their programming <laughs> was uh, poorly done. So Somehow, poorly somehow done. someone wrote in their por programming, kill all the humans. <laughs> And someone miss, someone bitter instead of a not kill all the humans they, they put a an equal instead of um someone didn't get them someone didn't win the atari uh uh the atari awards for best game and they're like that's it my robots are killing all the humans I, i've had enough of this they're world. going evil and you're all going down with me that's right <laughs> um sorry does, i was interrupting it you does now. support two people oh, and no. it also supports two controller play Mm. I have an idea for a one-handed controller that could work great for this. Like a hat, maybe on top of a joystick. Mm. That would be interesting. I can't think of any other way that you could play this with one hand and have the What is What do the different the joysticks do? One is you're moving, mm -hmm. and the other one is the direction of firing. And, and that's do how you it was have four-way movement? Uh, eight or two-way? Eight-way movement. Eight -way movement. Okay. Yeah, an eight-way firing. Yeah. <clears throat> Uh, one or two players plus an exclusive co-op mode uh, and starting wave select. All the action of the arcade game, battle grunts, hulks, brains, and many more. Support for dual joystick controls to move and fire. Three skill levels, novice, standard, and advanced. Atari Vox, save key support for high score. Quad Tari support for co-op games with up to four joysticks. So two joysticks for you, two joysticks for me. Um, and that's why I bought the, mm. bought the Ed, Ed Ladin joystick controller specifically for this game. Uh, I might as well show it. I'm talking about it. So. Ah, yes. Yes. This. You move with one. And not and have fire the joysticks like Going, whoa! What's happening? But I suction them into your head. And <laughs> <laughs> but I can tape two of these together. Because they do flat. Sure. On the side. For the second player. Well, what you for could you. do is you could get a board... <laughs> And then drill them into could. the board, you could. and then they wouldn't jiggle around. You could do that with your joysticks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, four controllers, but Atari Vox is not possible. No, I think three controllers plus Atari Vox is possible. So you can have dual and then a single so the, controller. So the, the Quad Atari does that. Does that give you four fully controllable joysticks? Yeah. How? Four directions plus a button. And how wh how does it double it up? Magic, it's magic. Um, it just takes them in the game. This one, that one, this one, that one, this one, that one, this one, that yes. one. Yes. Okay. Exactly. <laughs> it it pulls them up. It goes do 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 do. Very so very clever. So the Quadtari has a chip in it that switches between them. Okay. Yeah. That, that that's. And awesome. and the program is able to send the signal. I think automatically to say switch 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 switch. Um, so it knows which input it's getting from which um, uh, joystick, right? It's like, oh, switch to this one, read it. That's a that's the movement. Switch to the other one. That's the firing. Does it need that? Back and forth. 
you tell which ports to listen to on a frame by frame basis. Sorry, what was your question? Yeah, that's what I was thinking yeah. is that it would be you wouldn't need to know you wouldn't need to, it wouldn't need to communicate which uh, joystick it has because the Atari is frame by frame. Mm. And so it's like the whole timing thing, the thing that you like most about. <laughs> yes. yes. Oh, thanks, X, Ken X, for subscribing. Two months. Thank you so much for supporting us. Three thumbs for two months. That's right. And a, and a pad. <laughs> <laughs> and a waggle pad. And a waggle pad. Um, okay, so uh, very, very amazing game. Uh, you can download the demo right now, uh, right from their website, Champ Games. Um, and the thing is, uh, on their website, <clears throat> it says target release September 2021. Uh, that is, is September 2021. That is not going to happen. It it just, <laughs> it's already September 2021. <laughs> um, but if you look on the Atari Age store, it gives a little hint. They've closed it down recently. They're on vacation until October 1st. Oh. Hmm. Perhaps on October first it will be something. Available. Mayhaps happen. <laughs> uh, the Atari story. We had to close so we can put everyone into production. That's right. Update the store, make <laughs> things, because he doesn't want to be shipping while making. It's impossible almost. Uh, through the end of the month, this means while you can place an order, it will not be shipped until the first week of October. Also, we are working on a batch of new 2600, 5200, 7800, and Jaguar games for release soon which i'm guessing it would be possibly this game um guesses are fun yep <laughs> you can watch our forums and social media as we make announcements uh, for these exciting new games through the during the course of september i am not aware of the 5200 7800 and jaguar games so it's mm. going to be a big surprise what's coming out um i could probably take a guess at some of them like just look at what's close to being done some may have uh, um, been in secret, and it'll be a complete surprise. Hmm. Robot 2684 in co-op is ridiculous, but in a great way. I can't tell any hours. My son and I have spent playing it. It's really, really good. So smooth. Yeah, it is unbelievable. Um, so that is the big news for that. Um, what is this? It moved. There we go. Um, so update on Hokey Chips, which is the Pokey replacement for games being sold in the Atari Age store, which are already being sold with Hokey Chips. Um, that's the sound chip that the 7800 uh, uses on the cartridges, and the Atari 8-bits have used for uh, sound as well, the computers. Um, so Batari posted yesterday... Um, some Hokies are already out there in uh, Atari Age Homebrew Games, so in a way, this they have been publicly released. Um, for uses other than Homebrew Games, I first need to simplify the firmware update mechanism. That is the only hurdle left before I can release them to the public. Concerto owners will have a first crack at them. First those who have reservations, then the remaining Concerto owners, then the general public. Should be a matter of weeks at this point, so... Maybe um, by October 1st, when the Atari Age store opens. Um, so that is very cool. He just showed it on vacation. Yes, so vacation. So possibly October 1st, possibly just after that, when um, Robot War, and then possibly the Hokey Chips, which is, I think he expected them to be $10. I don't know if that was retail or if that was wholesale to go into games. But it'll be around that price that he said before. Just because it says vacation mode doesn't mean that Al's on vacation. We can only hope he is. <laughs> Hopefully. You know, he's been talking about going on vacation for a while. Um, uh, I think that's the end of the news. And it's time to get on with the game. Which is Space Pac-Man. Very exciting. So, let's load that up. It's treat time. Yum, 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 yum. Oh, it's yum. treat time. Yum, yum, yum. Oh my god, he's so excited. <laughs> His ears perked up. <laughs> and, and I'm sure Pixel will be down. He's looking for him. He's, he's like, like are you coming? Where's my buddy? I don't want to ring this bell before my buddy's here. Oh, maybe I will. 
<laughs> there we go. Pixel. He's looking to see if Pixel's coming. But Pixel. I don't think he's worried that Pixel won't get one. I think he might be like, how worried do I have to be that he'll get mine? I don't know. Pixel never steals the snacks from Atari, so that can't be it. Pixel. They are very good friends. I'm a little worried. That Pixel snuck out, or didn't hear, or he's asleep, or he's locked in the room. Okay, good. Pixel, treat time. Oh, shouldn't have thrown it. <laughs> Should have given him one first before throwing it. Okay. Come back. Come on, buddy. Did he leave? Come here. Get this one. Yeah, because I threw one out there. And uh, he ran after it, but then he didn't find it. There you go. Good pick. Good Atari. One more. Bring it. Actually, Pixel is very clever because he doesn't have to perform. He just gets free treats. So he's actually smarter than Atari because <laughs> he well, doesn't... That assumes, that assumes that he values not having to perform. That's true. Because some people, and cats are people, um, <laughs> <laughs> they want to perform. Yes, that's true. But I think you might be right that uh, Pixel is the one that does not want to perform. <laughs> and therefore, there is oh, value definitely. in not having performed. He definitely does not want to perform. <laughs> so, this is an exclusive work in progress update by Ricardo Pim. It's actually a release candidate. So, possibly there are no bugs and ah. it works perfectly. But uh, we will see. We'll see if everything works great. Um, so this is this build is from space two Batman? days ago. Yep. Go for launch. Go for launch. Launch into space. <laughs> Game select code by Ricardo Pim. Assembly by Wilson. Do we get to Gutierrez. pick who assembles the code? Arden tester Salo Santiago. No, beta testers choose. Ricardo Binsk. Luca Santiago. No, we don't get to select anybody. <laughs> space Pac-Man. Get those white ghosts. Ten points. I was gonna Ten say, points. In space, nobody can see uh, the color of the ghost. <laughs> it's so cute. The little tiny really ghosts good. on a line. That's yeah. really, really well done. And little stars. And ah! very nice title screen. Like Hello, back there. to Brazil. Yeah, the menu does flicker a bit. Oh, the menu of... Uh, yeah, the encore. I have no idea what's going on. VHZC's font on the score. Very reminiscent of VHZC's font. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So this has an intro. It does. So, to start the game, you have to eat all your lunch before you head off to work. <laughs> oh, oh no! no! <laughs> Into space! You're losing all your... Oh, oh no, it's help. a space invader! <laughs> He's invaded your space! That's pretty great. Uh, oh no! What am I? Oh my god! They're after you. No, no, no. Not you. Can't help this. Ah! <laughs> oh no, you lost more health! Oh, his buddies are after you. Okay. So it's got an amazing intro. Get that. Yep. Get all those things and avoid the ghosts. Get that. Like seriously, do not touch the ghosts. You yeah, will, you I don't. Die. I don't know how I managed to like not touch a ghost a few times there. <laughs> avoid that. Um, so let's read about this game. The Galaxian Space Ghosts are a no! hostile alien race. This is a hard no! game, by the way. <laughs> How do I... Uh, can I eat them when that happens? Uh, yes, when you get the yellow one, you can eat them for a short period of time. Get the yellow one, get the yellow one, get the yellow one, eat them! Yum, yum, yum! Get it, get that one. Don't go after that one, you won't have time. I could have No, you couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> um, maybe, but you probably get that much. 550 kilometers and down. 
Uh, our hostile alien race that centuries after destroying their own planet live in nomadic way, traveling from system to system, studying and invading peaceful planets in order to make them their new home. Enslave its inhabitants. So just just to be clear, the answer to my question earlier was it's in space. It's in space, but falling. Yeah. Oh, oh, zapped. Yeah, you're low on health. Well, I'm low on um, get it. Those things. Get them all. Get them all. Oh, oh, oh my God. Avoid. Avoid at all costs. Avoid. Oh, dead. Death to you. 45, return, return to the points. home ship. I've been captured forever. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Game dead over. Back, man. <laughs> Sometimes slight jitter when scoring. Slight jitter there as well. Goes every once in a while. But this might not be... Is this... Is that going to be included in the game? Then the jitter needs to be fixed. But, yes. Yeah. Okay. Jitter does need to be fixed. There. Okay. So it's good that we're testing all these different screens. Original Pac-Man Ghost Flicker. Yep. 15 hertz. Uh, better intro and opening turn than the 2600 Pac-Man for sure. Tune. Yes. Much, much better. Love the title screen. Awesome title screen. Yeah. It's so cute. Okay. Do it again. Thumbs up to the individual program this game. It's retail quality. It is. So hungry. Nom, nom, nom. So See all the health you have? Hungry. Look at all the health you have. And then you lose all your health being beamed up to the spaceship. And then you lose more health breaking out of the spaceship. Oh. It's like so defeating. <laughs> Oh, you're like great. a full health. This, that's the greatest thing ever. <laughs> it is. So funny. It's Before you even start the game, you're down to like one third health. I just love that the bar is used. <laughs> uh, uh oh. Before uh, consuming all the resources before setting off on a new invasion, traveling through the P 386 system. Oh, I'm, I'm doing much worse than before this time. <laughs> wow. Did something the... happens after you get hit. Your health goes down yeah. continuously. Rather than once and then a reprieve? Yeah. Uh, because once I got into the boss fight, it was like I was collecting the things, but my health was oh, going down. No, your health just goes down automatically as well right. as when you get hit. So what? You, you have to keep on getting But it was going down real fast <laughs> in the boss fight. Probably because you're... Did you get hit? I'll have to watch next time. I, I thought that I hadn't been hit. Mm. Or, or, yeah, anyways, we'll see. And we do have the developer in the chat, Ricardo Pell. Um, uh, traveling through the P-30A6 system, their computers detect a small planet orbiting a red dwarf star, indicating that it meets all the requirements for a possible invasion. Despite being hostile, their methods of approach are cautious and always start with the abduction of a specimen for study purposes. You are the specimen. Uh, you know, I, I'm, I was, like, better at catching them the first time. <laughs> what? Why, why did you right through that it? time? Uh, Boo! I, that happened before, too. I don't like it. I remember that when playing it before. You have to eat it in a specific... Like, you have to eat it on a specific spot. Like, the bottom of it or something? Boo. Boo! Boo! Almost Nobody dead. likes this! Dead. <laughs> dead. Before it was a lot easier, like I went really far. Now he's made it a lot harder. I don't know why, but like the first time I play something, I'm so much better at it. Is Pac-Man on fire? Yes. Yes. Does he feel pain? Yes. Uh, he's, yeah. He's in agony the and whole he, time. And he dies when he runs those. Yeah. He gets reprieved from he's the He's definitely the being forced to the, to the limit. Yeah, definitely. Um, this little place is called Puckland. Or the planet of Puckmans. Spherical, plump, greedy creatures that live by eating to survive. Greedy. This is the best way to survive in this game? Yep. Just do not do the thing that talking. is... Talking with Miss Pac-Man. Do not allow the inciting incident to occur. You. Ah! Uh, can you move out of the beam? Can you move? I can look. <gasps> you can go faster. Oh. Do that next time. You might not lose as much. Oh. Uh, you, Mr. Pac-Man, lived happily with your wife when you're suddenly kidnapped by space ghosts. Despite being peaceful, Pac-Man is not easy. 
When still in orbit around his planet, he managed to escape the ship, plunging into the infinity of space. Yeah, it seems you have a bit more health this time. I think because you pushed up on the joystick. Interesting. Yeah, I, don't so. I don't think I have more. I didn't, I didn't much push up on the joystick, mm. so it's not much of a test. Introduction. You start the game controlling Mr. Pac-Man in his home, immersed in an interactive cutscene. That is, a mix of animation where the player just watches or performs small tasks to continue. After being abducted, your first mission is to find a, a way to escape the Galaxius ship by consuming by oh. consuming as little energy as possible. Upon what? escaping... What does it mean when they turn gray that first time, but you can't that? eat them? Uh, do they? Yeah, yeah. Get it, get it, get it! Yes! Oh, and then you got hit instantly. That's a bit of an issue. Is it boss time? What is this? Oh, get them all, get them all, get them all, get them all. Get them all. Get the oh, you're just getting... Oh, you are getting health. Okay. Get them all. Don't touch the ghost. That's what you needed. So you really need to survive to that point. No, that was... Um... I just uh, started and I wasn't paying attention. Uh, but um... something I noticed just before you say that, when you eat the fourth Pac-Man, they instantly turn back to evil, mm. and you get hit right away. That's not fair. Yeah. So it's that's not fair. So it's actually better not to eat the fourth one because you get. Oh my god. Oh my god. And you're dead. I am. Dead like dead. Okay. So, you can read now on um, to gameplay. Your mission is to stay alive by feeding space... By feeding space energy... Even his house resembles a space in the air. Does it? By feeding space energy during the fall. Fight the space ghost and reach the ground to rescue Miss Pac-Man. What? They have Miss Pac-Man? Okay. Yeah, but they didn't get her. They got us. So she needs have... to come rescue us. <laughs> That's We're right. the ones in danger. Remember me, my love. Ah! Oh, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, yeah, you get so much more in it. Yeah? Well, we'll see how much you got left after you pound your way out. Yeah. Still a little bit more. Yeah, a little yeah. bit more. Okay. Because that, that was For that sure. was hard. Without... You have no additional lives. Your only life is represented by the, the horizontal bar just above the space board. Or scoreboard. And I love how you can look back and forth. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. The fire you consume so as much awesome. energy as you can make eating, so don't stop eating. The end of the energy represents your death, and it's game over. Use the left joystick to move freely in space, dodging space ghosts without touching them. They will make coordinated moves to try to surround you. Oh. In, more in more advanced stages, they will attack you intensely. Intensively. Intensively. They will make coordinated moves to try to surround you. Ah. Oh. oh my god. It's so deadly. See, that's what I mean. What was that? Oh, that's the boss kind of going, hey, I'm coming. Oh, I need this badly. There we go. I'm not going to eat the fourth ghost. He, he attacks you immediately. If a, if a space ghost touches you, you won't die instantly, but you'll lose energy quickly. Try to escape or use your teleport power. Teleport power? What? Oh, I forgot about that. Oh, but he uses energy. Uh, so. Does it use as much as you... <laughs> It takes to just like get eaten and run away. Uh, a little bit less. <laughs> ah, get attacked! Oh, you will end. You will eventually be able to t temporarily attack and disable a space ghost. To do this, you must eat the yellow space energy. At that point, they will desperately flee. Be quick! The power of the yellow space energy does not last long. Oh, boss time! Hmm? Boss time! I got to the boss ah. in my first play too, so it's my second play is going to be abysmal, and I died. 95% Batari basic main. This would have been a much more success ex successful game than the actual Pac-Man. I think so. Try to devour all four space ghosts in a single attack to release red space energy. In return, this action will make them extremely angry. Okay. Red space energy has the power to temporarily paralyze the space ghosts. Oh. In this short period of time, they can't hurt you. Take this moment to eat as much as you can. What? Really? I thought I swear it hurt you. Oh my god, I forgot to do that. I oh my god, you're right. Oh my god. Oh my god. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna get the fourth fourth. What post. happened is after I ate them, they looked all one color. Yes, they were all like red they or looked, pink. And I was like, should I eat them again? <laughs> but I didn't because I was a coward. coward. Uh, well, I mean, I was a normal person who's afraid of ghosts, as you should be. Mm -hmm. Especially these guys. The space ghosts will eventually band together, joining forces to form a mega ghost. Chase you and definitely kill you. Oh, definitely kill you. <laughs> they did definitely kill us. So they far, did. you're not a liar. 100% of the time, they You'll only be us. able to defeat the mega ghost when you manage to eat the yellow space energy. In possession of this power, attack relentlessly. But remember, the power is short-lived. It will take several attacking rounds to defeat him. Ah... Uh. The Mega Ghost will come back several times during the game, and sometimes it may appear momentarily without warning. Okay. One. Two. Three. Four. Okay, yeah, eat them. Eat them? No, it's killing me! Okay. Oh, then then yeah. it's lying. Oh, that's the red power. Oh, you... Oh, I see. Okay. That must be it. You definitely want this. So this is what it does. It releases this power. Oh, okay. So it does hurt you, but you want it to be able to get well, the mega energy. I don't know that you have to hit them, I think. What's happening? I need some health. <laughs> ah, no! Oh, was it worth it? I don't know. I don't think so. I'm actually doing okay. Ah, no, ah, no, ah, no. The, uh, ah, no, no, the no, Pac-Man no, no, no. uh, animation is amazing. It is astounding. Like, the outline the fire. of it, the, out, the fiery outline makes it, like, super awesome. It's, yeah, it's, ah. it's spectacular. Okay, like, so usually, I've... usually there's, like, no outline and no depth to characters. Because yes. obviously, you That's know, true. there's just not a lot of... Uh, no sprites to do it. There's just no, no extra bandwidth for it. Yeah. Oh, now you gotta fight him. Fight, 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 fight. Relentless, relentless! The look of the, that, that ghost Run. when you're attacking him looks amazing. Um, it's, it's kind of... It's going between, like, white and gray or something, so it looks, like, outlined or 3D, something like that. I don't know what it is, but take a look next time if I make it. Get him! Get him! Eat him! Make him cry! Oh, Yo, pink. look at his sad face. He's so sad. I did it! I defeated him! Oh my god, I can't get these! Oh, ah! uh, uh, Ricardo Pim says, James, don't forget the teleport power, press fire. If you yeah, stay but... in danger, press it. So oh, you're, if I'm really you're screwed, danger. like if you're surrounded by a bunch of terrible ghosts. Uh, and let's face it, all ghosts are terrible. Ah, oh, no. oh. That, was, that was an error. Even I knew. Even, yeah, even was... the Darcy knew that you should have given up at that point. Yeah, I was too, waiting too long for it. Uh, 500 okay. kilometers. Don't Get forget them. that the space ghost spaceship is still after you, and sporadically oh. it will launch the tractor beam to try and abduct you uh, again. Oh, that's what that is. If it touches you, it'll suck you and steal your energy and keep your distance. I won't comment on... The, the first thing that it will do you <laughs> after touching you. <laughs> the match starts at a height of 600 kilometers in your planet's orbit. Every oh, 50 God. kilometers of fall, an alert will show, will show your height. The game is over when you get safely ashore to save Miss Pac-Man. Or when you're dead. And it flies away, taking you away to, to probe your... 21,915! Yes. There is an end. It counts down. I got yeah, to yeah, 500. You, you go to, you try to get down to. It's not Earth though. Uh, it's Packland. Packland or Packland? Packland. Yeah. Pac -land. Okay, your turn again. Oh, problem with the score. Problem with the score. The zero is a bit off. Usually, um, I'm, the developers something like usually not in the chat, but this time he is. Um, I'm going to make a little thing that goes up on the screen that I can press, and it goes bug, and it stays on the screen for a bit. So when I review, press up, when I review the footage, I can find the bug and get the timestamp and then send it to the developer. Send all the ghosts you want! I don't care. I mean, run. <laughs> I am... I am just being cocky. Like, it's not earned. When you get down, you will save Miss Pac-Man. 
Is she the one who really needs to be saved? Oh, I guess so, because they're invading the planet. Seems that you're the one really in danger. Well, you save them by not being there for them to dissect and learn your weakness and make a uh, um, specimen of leg. <laughs> of a, oh my goodness. If only I was better. Ah! What did we get to? What? That time I felt get sure to... that I not get to on teleport? The proper spot. Did you do teleport? Teleport is a power of the Puck Man's. It allows you to transport Mr. Pac Man directly to the right and left ends of the screen. Opposite side he is on when he triggers it. The teleport consumes energy, so use it sparingly. Yeah, I just didn't have ever enough have energy to use it. Press a button on the joystick to activate it. Space Ghost. So they've got all got their own names. Um, Zord is the Mega Ghost, formed by the Union of Four Galaxians. Much stronger and deadlier. And once in action, it won't give up until you kill, until it kills Mr. Pac-Man. Clyde, the Yellow Galaxian. Ah! Oh my God, that was terrible. Made me very sad. Yeah. Also very hungry. No, that's not a good place for that. <laughs> <laughs> Likely because the video mode I'm viewing this under, but what is triggering the power up to go after the space ghost? I think it's just time, length of time. Like the yellow one? Um, yeah, I think what it is is you fall 50 meter, 50 kilometers, and then the you get the opportunity. Because I think the mm. thing comes up and says that you've fallen for 50 kilometers. Right. And then you get the chance to eat ghosts and get your bonus uh, situation going. Okay. Do it again? No? Okay. I'm on. I've read. I've. Zord. Yeah, you need to read Clyde. Clyde is the yellow Galaxian. He is the least aggressive of the four of space ghosts. His movements are not the fastest. Pinky is the pink Galaxian. He's the only girl in. I've added the he there. You Pinky, added the he? Pinky is the pink Galaxian, the only girl in the group, but do not make a mistake. She is the most aggressive of all. She is always in attack mode, and her movements are very fast in all directions. Inky is the blue colored Galaxian, and much more agile when flying vertically. Ah. Blinky is the green Galaxian. This one is much more agile when flying horizontally. Okay, let's do this. Um, point system. Test your limits by finishing the game with a higher score. Some of your actions during the game are worth points. See the table below. Every white energy bar that appears on the screen. 10 points. Eating a white space energy bar. 50 points. Okay. Uh, oh, so you get points just for the energy bar showing up on the screen. Oh, well, that's and very then nice. You, you get 10 for it existing and 50 <laughs> for successfully eating it. <laughs> so you can do, you can get points for not even barely playing the game. Yeah. Well, no, you you are for playing the game by not being eaten by a ghost. Like it by not separate. dying. Yeah, yeah. It's just like the timer points, right? Can I get? Can uh, I make it? Eating, can a, space, I get a, space, yeah! eating a space ghost, two hundred and fifty. Oh, points. it does stop for a bit. It it did um make them um disappear for a bit. They made they were eyes. So they didn't turn into deadly ghosts right away. When I ate all four of them. But I swear in other playthroughs... Oh my god, look at all my energy. So look the Space that. Ghost is 250 points. A yellow Space Energy Bar is 500 ah. points. So that you just got. Yep. Eat a red Space Energy Bar, 750. Continuously attack the Mega Ghost, 15 points. Uh, I assume it's per some period of time. Right. Maybe it's each time he cries. Oh, uh, yeah. Because he does a lot of crying. Yeah. Like, I don't know if I mentioned, but like the expression on his face when you're beating him down, so good. <laughs> uh, and kill the Mega Ghost, 1,000 points. The, uh, the game has a bonus system so that the points earned with oh, each action can be multiplied up to three times. For that, you must remain unharmed by attacks from the Space Ghosts. Oh, God. So you build up a bonus by not being... I got it two times on the screen. Yeah. You got what on the screen? A two times. Yeah. And that w is gone because you got injured. Yep. And, and got touched by uh, that. Uh, Murder! Murder! Make him sad! Oh, I'm so oh, sad! So sad. Oh, my face! I'm so sad! He's mad again. I'm mad now. I don't like it when ah. you make me sad. Oh, I need some energy! Oh my god! He's... 
in trouble. Um, <laughs> here we go, more punishment! Yes! Defeat! Defeat, excellent. Okay. Um, Doing much better this time. The longer the time without suffering damage, the greater the possibility of multiplying the points gained. A sign of times two or times three will appear in the lower left corner, indicating how many times your points will multiply. After some time without taking damage, the time two sign will appear. Your earned points will multiply by two. If you still remain unattacked for a while longer, your points will multiply by three. Oh, cool. Anytime oh, you take damage points. per attack, anytime you take any damage per attack, the bonus system is reset. Mm, that's very painful, <laughs> but fair. Oh, there it is. There's times it is. two. Yeah. Ah, and it's gone. <laughs> Didn't get any double points at all. Bonus stage. You'll be able to play bonus stage. For ah. what, for that, you'll have to devour all four space ghosts and then eat the red space energy. I am not bored. That's just a thing that happens to my voice sometimes. <laughs> I don't know why. More tired than bored. <laughs> he needs oxygen. <laughs> Stat. Maybe it's because I'm talking and not breathing. Oh um, my god. Ah! Ah! Oh yeah, he sometimes will appear. Remember? Mean. Oh my god, I'm not doing well. I need to eat all four of those really badly. And get those bonus energy. Yeah, I might be able to do it. Maybe, maybe, maybe. At the moment that the space yes! ghost will be paralyzed and will not be... At that moment, the space ghost will be paralyzed and will not be able to hurt you. The space will be filled with white space energy, so take this time to recharge your energy and score hot, and score hot points. Tips! 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 Tips, please. 15%. At the beginning of the game, while you are being abducted by the spaceship's tractor beam, you don't resist and you don't try to escape. Uh, tips. At the beginning of the... Yeah. Don't resist, no try to escape. You will lose less energy and start the game with more vigor. What if, instead of not resisting, speed up the kidnapping? Good question! <laughs> each space ghost... <laughs> each space ghost makes the same movements. Uh, sometimes attacking Pac-Man, sometimes in the opposite direction. Some are faster when flying horizontally, and others move slower when flying. Oh vertically. my God! Try to memorize the behavior of each one of your chan and your chances will be better. In later stages, the ghosts start to attack you if you approach them. Some of them attack you if you get too close. Others just need to smell you. <laughs> move more safely between them. Uh, also memorizing this behavior. Using teleport when you are surrounded or under attack can save your life. Your instinct will always try to escape, so don't forget this powerful resource. The power given by the yellow space energy is active for a very short time. It's not always possible to disable all four Galaxians. But guess what? Ah. Teleporting... Guess what? Teleporting can often help you shorten your path. So when the last one's far away, you could try... Oh, true. Eat him! Eat him! Eat him! Make him pay! Make him sad. Sad eyes, sad ears. So that was good timing. Yeah, yeah, pretty good. Mega Ghost is much faster moving horizontally than moving up and down through space. Use this weakness to your advantage and make vertical moves close to him for easier escape. The tractor beam stays active during gameplay for only a few seconds. Long enough to not hit the edges of the screen. Dead. Go to there. Dead. I Go to there. It. No, I don't want to use up my energy. No, you're not listening to me. I'm where? trying to help you, and you're so busy with your trying not to die in the game that you just Sorry, can't even say hear that me. again. <laughs> the, tractor <beam. laughs> the tractor beam stays active during gameplay for only a few seconds, long yes. enough to not hit the edge of the screen. Yes. Go to there. Oh, well, uh, yeah, of course. Yay! Look at energy. Look at all my energy. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's awesome. What? Full bar of energy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're still getting points, though, so it's still worth it. It would be better if you had a multiplier, but you don't. I don't. This is... I'm doing much better this time. The 400! Energy, the energy released by the tractor beam disables the Puckman's teleportation, so don't wait for this power to escape. So you can't use teleport to get ah. out of... You could have used it there. Yeah. That's, in fact, what it's designed for. That's true. But when you're because cornered. Because as you'll go on, they will corner you more. Um, oh. You've gotten to the point where they're actually coming at you a lot more. They a are lot very vicious now. So you're going to have to develop teleportation skills and <laughs> instincts. Uh, I have neither, but I will have Difficulty. to Difficulty! 
You are feeling that the game is too easy. No. This no. says difficulty. Is it difficulty? You are feeling that the game is too easy. Period. Uh. Period. <laughs> this is not a question. <laughs> this is a... Ah! Oh, it came out of nowhere. Try oh, I'm almost dead. Try to play dead. with your Atari left difficulty switch in position dead. A. Expert. The space ghosts will be faster in their movements. No thanks. <laughs> game controller. You can use a joystick controller with the game cartridge. Be sure the controller cable is firmly plugged into yeah, the left yeah, controller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't yeah, yeah, yeah me. I'm reading as requested. <laughs> How to plug in your game controller. No, we don't, we don't need to do it. I did much, much better that time. Yeah. Much, 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 much better. You get one more game. Okay, I'm going to win. At first, I thought this game was way too hard. The last zero is still malfunctioning. Oh, it is. Take note, we have discovered this. We have... Bug. And the, the um, they're not spaced. Um, what triggered the multiplier? You have to stay without hurt for some time. Yeah. Just an expression. Where's Snow the food? Monster. I want more food! <laughs> that one is poison. Remember, I'll stay over here. We're safe. Straight up fast. Straight up. Into the house. Hide. Hide in the basement. Hide in the ba- Smart. Go! Go! Nice. Escape! Go to Miss Pac-Man. Oh, go to Miss Pac-Man before. Let's try it again. Wait. You're the worst. Yep. Oh, I could have reset it, maybe. Because we never tried that. To you actually to go to Miss Pac-Man. No, you can't. No. Because you go there and before you eat it. Before the power pellet. Oh, yeah. Okay. Go now. I can't. I can't oh. change the camp. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. <laughs> try harder. Try harder. See? We only try. Oh. Stay there. Stay there. Oh. That's so awesome. Wow. It's so it's so romantic how they eat together. Um never actually seen a six hundred XL in person. Only seen an eight hundred XL and the older four hundred and eight hundred in the wild. I believe the eight hundred is <laughs> is the most sold eight bit Atari computer. Two hearts which beat in sync. <laughs> What's the general price for an 800 XL? You see, uh, 200 to 250 for no. a nice one, US, I think. Around that. Get it? Oh, I'm oh, so. Oh, you just got it. Did I? Just got it. Oh, no. No. I no. Have... no. Ah! Ah! Nobody likes ghosts. I would have to say this game is awesome and fun and very challenging um, and is very dynamic. You would have to, but you have but. to. But, no, there's no but. I have to say. <laughs> because the game is... Ah! Get it! Get it! Eat no. all the ghosts! No, you're not going to do it. No, you might get to. Don't do it. Don't do it! No! Whoa, did you press button? Ah... Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. so the, the, Run. the, uh, the point where it tells you comes, ah, ah, after the yellow pellet. At, after the, uh, this time it came after, no, oh. get away from my pellets, you ghost <laughs> bastards. <laughs> oh, Go I got so hungry. Uh, hey guys, I'm at work and I really need to drive home. I will try to keep listening to the show. Any questions? If if I have time, I will answer later. Have a good show. Thank you for dropping in, Ricardo. It's your, good timing anyway. Your game is absolutely amazing. It's The graphics are great. The intro, the little anime animatics. animatics. Yep. Um, this little thing, just that is yeah, super yeah. cool. Um, the, um, the variety... <laughs> It's just on a it's not my fault. It is my fault, but it's but only in a biological sense is it my fault. In a in a can I control myself way, it's not my fault. <laughs> it's not your fault. It's like I can't think control that I have around. five fingers. Well, I can, 
by chopping them off. But <laughs> ice. I could put an ice pick through my head and possibly change my behavior. <laughs> but it would probably just get worse. It, it would be much worse, I think. <laughs> you probably read that story of the guy who got an iron bar through his brain. Yeah, yeah. survived. Phineas Gage. And he turned into an absolute Different asshole. Yeah. And nobody liked him anymore. <laughs> um, the graphics in the game, the music, the animation, the dynamics of gameplay, the multiple different things you have to do in the game. It's not just survive. It's like, oh, there's a tractor beam. There's a big ghost. The you fact that there's the no ghost. lives, the fact that you yeah. are constantly refilling your lives is your life. panic mode. You're in panic mode the it's whole really time. It's really good. The, yeah. the little bit where, like... I definitely like that if you race up, you keep more life at the beginning. And yes. I like that the health bar is part of the pregame. <laughs> yes. Because at, at first I was going to go, oh, Ricardo, you should put a little, like, press the button to skip all that. Because if you have to do that every time, it's like, no, it's part of the game. Like, literally part of the game to press up as soon as possible. If the timing glitches get fixed, I'd be happy to buy it. Yeah, there's... There's just a little glitch in the in the um, title screen when the names grow on the screen. That's all the problem I saw. Did anybody see any other jumpy glitches? The zero is missing a little bit of itself oh, there. And it is. Less than before. <laughs> right? That is true. Yeah, yeah. It's still missing something. Because my other score was five digits and um, it was actually shifted over. The kerning was not correct. Oh, yeah, was I suppose, just pointing at the missing pixel. Yeah, because yeah. before, James noticed that it was missing, like, that whole right side of the last zero. Because there was two pixel spaces in between, like, the third and fourth digit, I believe. And that's pro probably why it erased one whole row. I definitely like this game better than regular Pac-Man. Oh, 100%. Yeah. I don't mean regular Atari Pac-Man. I mean any Pac-Man. Any Pac-Man. This is better. Oh, well, uh, there's some good Pac-Mans out there. I'm telling you my opinion, and my opinion that this is better. <laughs> I, I, I actually have more fun, because I'm not, like, a huge fan of Pac-Man. It's like, it's fine. It's fine. Notice how he's quibbling on whether he likes this game better, <laughs> even though he says he had more fun with this one. Yeah, I do. I have more so, fun. Because it's more dynamic. Pac Pac-Man is just, it's very samey. That's same. very strange. Yeah. I'll watch the rest and replay. Bye, everyone. Bye, S. Ramirez. Bye, S. Ramirez. Okay, we are moving on to game number two. Thank you, Ricardo Pym, for letting us play your amazing game. And uh, it looks like it's really close to being uh, ready, except for a couple timing issues. It is Electro Ball. Oh. One couple things. Let's switch the cartridge out. Oh, let's have the cartridge. Now you can go for it. Um, Electro Ball is made by dun, 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 Mike Litow. Mike Litow? Mike Litow. And this is the final updated binary. So it is done. And actually, before we play it, there's it's a two player game. Um, Plug in the other joystick. Mike Latow has explained to us that his name is Mike Latow. Latow. Okay. I, I believe that that's what's happening. <laughs> in the chat. <laughs> in the chat. If I'm reading it correctly, which I believe that I am. What Ta is? Tall like in saw or tow yeah. like in cow? Yeah. Latow. Lita. Yep. There's only about five ways to pronounce it. <laughs> <laughs> and he's probably heard all five. Yeah, I get I get people uh, rewriting my last name too. Rewriting it. Yeah. In their head, they're, they're, they want to spell it. They want to Frenchify it. Because there's a, there's a there's a. How would you? Frenchify well, there's Poulain. That? But it's That's spelled a... different. Like Poulain. Yeah, like pollen is oh. uh, and Poulain are. Like, oh. it seems pretty likely that they are, like, you know, I can, related. Like, they're I the same. I could see people spelling it as in, I'm allergic to Darcy Pollen. <laughs> That's how I say it. <laughs> P-O-L-L-O-N. E-N. P-O-L-L-E-N, yeah. 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 
instead of the name plus But people in. like to, yeah, they like to make They mess up more, my name, too. They, they like to make they, me more French. They go, Brian. I know how to spell Brian. B-R-I-A-N. It's like, no, 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 no. I actually... Sorry. There is no Brian. I don't know I how to spell Brian because I spell it the way that your name is spelled. <laughs> that's how I used to spell it. And oh. it took me a while to, like, relearn that that's not how Brian is spelled. Yeah. <laughs> that's very because I'm true. dumb. <laughs> uh so let's i'm gonna start it yes this is the first posted june 13th 2021 this one is from like that who who followed cy citro nick citronic with an underscore but it's a nickname citro little clever things happening there very nice title screen here by Mike Lataw. This is version one. It's finished, so if we find flaws in it, it's too late. Yeah, no shaking. It's good. Was this the first screen that came up? There's no other thing? Uh, no, yeah. it came up with the Atari uh, thing. It oh, looked awesome. I, I missed was it. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Oh, God, Let's God. make sure there's no shaking. Boom. That's awesome. Very it, nice. It looks like it's shrinking forever. <laughs> yep. Yep, no shaking at all. Um, you can download this in the Atari Age 4. Version 1.0. It's done. It's done, done, done. Well, it's version 1.0. Oh. Fully color black point compatible. Why? Oh, there we go. My switch just never gets used for, the, for color black and white. So it's a little shakiness. <laughs> wow, that's very cool. Yeah. Not many, like almost nobody makes their games, like the homebrews, black and white compatible. Hmm. Almost nobody. Did they use that switch for something else, or they just don't bother? Sometimes, like if it's an adventure game or something. So it's something you have to do to make it black and white. Doesn't doesn't just automatically grayscale it. All those switches you can use for anything you want. But what I mean is, yes. is, is, is do you have to do programming to make it black and white? Yeah. Okay. You have to change the colors. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, you do. Like if you had a black and white television, yeah, it would just translate. It would strip the color from Electro Ball. Yeah. Right. But some colors, like say you had two different blues, yeah, and and it was one player and the other player, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But you have to have a variety of intensities yeah. of uh, I, luma. Yeah. You'd have to have different luma for everything, yeah, not different yeah. chroma. And so you have to specifically program what it looks like in black and white so it appears better on the screen. Yeah. It's cool. It's cool that it's black and white. I think what most of the developers are thinking is, screw those guys who still use a black and white TV. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> I mean, it's fair enough. It's better this way, but it's, yeah. it's uh, fair enough. So this I'm going to press the yep, fire button. Yep. We can press go select or fire. I'm going to choose fire. Good choice. That button is fire. Okay. Human. You're going to play. You can make the computer play itself. That's what we're going to do. <laughs> okay, sure. Uh, this is inspired by Hat Trick. We played this. Ball Blazer and Sumo Bots. Oh, you have played this. I played this with you. Oh, good. And I won. <laughs> and nobody could believe it, even me. <laughs> and you were, like, so frazzled that you kept losing. And I was just so <laughs> random that I continued to, like, not do completely horrible. <laughs> well, that's good. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a game you can trounce me at. I support it for the sheer principle of it. And based on the feedback from the work in progress, I made sure it was couch compliant. Couch <laughs> compliant. So all the menu options could be accessed via Oh, touch yes. Tape. So, yeah, that is really good. That's yeah. the new... I very much approve that I can press the fire button. That's yeah. the new wording for me complaining that I have to go up to the console is couch compliant. Couch compliant. <laughs> Everything has to be controlled with the joystick. See, the way that they achieved couch compliancy in the past was that the Atari system would be here on the couch with you yes. and a long trip trip hazards Which would go had. up to the TV. It's yeah. super long power cable. Did you remember... Tanya beat James on this one too. So I'm terrible at this type of game oh. apparently. I'm not playing uh, two player with you again. Because <laughs> you want to retired I, it's victorious. called quit while you're ahead i'm not stupid yeah um so he posted on saturday no more bugs have been discovered in two weeks so i'm marking this as complete we're stuck in computer versus computer right now yeah um updated the but file only until someone wins it'll be a while no 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 keep you just get oh it'll be a you while. did it wrong it'll be three minutes 
Um, thanks to all for your team. Yeah, so if you're winning, the adaptive would uh, make it harder. harder on you. because Oh, it's it, time. Keep it at three. And then there's four different um, winter. play Definitely fields. Winter. Uh oh. <laughs> so this one, you don't have a goalie. The goals are moving and getting bigger and smaller. So there's momentum. And there's a barrier. Yeah, there's momentum in this game. Um, it's been no! A, it's been no, a, you're... It's been a fun experience. Nobody likes blue. And I'm glad the only struggles I had in developing an Atari 2600 game was with the console itself, rather than what commercial developers had to deal with back in the day with Christmas deadlines or pressures for management on cartridge memory sizes or other constraints. Um, so we made this a happening. 16K game. Which one are you? I'm red, I believe. Okay. Well, <laughs> get it in the goal. No, I know, but like, uh, get it, I get why get it, you have it, difficulty it, with no. it. Oh. I get why you have difficulty because you don't actually control your mo where you're going. <laughs> you, you go almost exclusively on momentum. It's a lot of... Like, you're a, you're bouncing, and I didn't think I realized that before. It's a lot of control... You okay, just... he's just being lucky now. <laughs> it's controlled momentum. You can use the bounces to your advantage. By like oh, yeah, no, no. I, I, I'm, I am not complaining. Oh, that oh. was so... Oh, hey, no. Cytronic, nice to meet you. No, too. nobody likes you, Blue. Welcome. Nobody likes you. Welcome to all our Brazilian friends. I know ah. I'm from Brazil and meet productors no. of Space Pac-Man. No. Yes, thank you for showing up for Space Pac-Man. It's an amazing game. No. And for sticking around hey. for other games. You're not allowed to take it out of my hands, you. Oh. 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 Get it again. Rebound. And now. Yeah. Yes. That was legit skill being used are you playing easy medium hard i do not i i am offended by that question <laughs> you're playing hard i don't think i am uh, oh you just missed that's it. medium i think i think i the i don't medium. think i changed it oh, okay it's it gets hard like medium is oh, oh yeah trickled in Woo! it's all tied up no, your English is way better than my Portuguese. <laughs> All good. <laughs> Needs to get stickers made up that said ZPH certified for couch, couch compliant. Oh, I yes. agree. It needs to be one of those star, no, star no, stickers. No, come back, come back, come back. No, and blue is bad. Needs to be a gold star sticker. <laughs> oh, I think oh. I might be offending thrust speaker system and neighbors again. Oh, get it, get Oh, maybe. Loud, loud, loud. Um, no, what was that? <laughs> so changes since last time. No change to game player features. Oh. Hopefully the title screen no. no longer shake on discerning consoles. My one test case, 2600 7800, is resolved with beta 3. Fixed an issue where the 2600 text underneath the splash screen was not as centered as it could be. Use the joystick very strangely. Who, me? Yeah. Well, in this, I have no control, so there's no point in pretending that, like, <laughs> finesse is going to help me. <laughs> he's got his... I don't know if you can see it. He's got his palm on the joystick, and he's, like, surrounding it what with his palm. What do you do? I, like, hold it like a normal person. Not, no, you don't. Like you this, are not two, a normal person. With two fingers. Oh, maybe three you fingers. You fake it real good, James. You fake... Be what? Oh, Something what a happened. good shot. Oh, that's... There's, like, two seconds left. You know what happened? The thing that happened. Get it in, get it in, get it in. Oh. The thing that happened is that I suddenly thought I was blue. <laughs> I was like, why do, why do I keep shooting it? Is the button still? You did very good against medium. Medium is not easy. Um, All right, let's try. Uh, yeah, play the different. Uh, ones. Fall. Obviously, you should play medium because you're fairly evenly matched. So, this is pretty much the same except without. Uh, the goal making smaller and bigger. Exactly like a quality assured sticker, like the NES, NES uh, quality assurance. Uh, Mike Lata Latau. Uh, Boo! Lato, 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 Lato. The game itself is 6,300 bytes. Oh, wow. Oh, with all the option title splash screens are 7,400 bytes. Just... There's likely a lot of space oh, optimized behind. No, no. But once I clip the 8K, no. we are just leaned into the 16K space. And it doesn't really matter. Like if you're going to get this on cartridge, and I I think it, this one 100% deserves to be on cartridge. It's really good. Like 
people may be looking at it and go, oh, looks looks pretty good. Once you play the game, especially against a human opponent, you will love it. It is so much fun. Um, and then <laughs> in Beta 4, uh, he made a PAL 60 version. I don't even know what's happening sometimes. Oh, no, no, no! And oh. he reduced the AI running into walls when they have the ball. Um, beta 5 and 6. He changed the color of the player on the right-hand side. So on black and white, it isn't quite so dark. Because this game looks perfectly fine for brightness. Just the screensaver was like super, super, super dark. No, I just scored on myself. Oh, sort no. of. Sort of. I knocked it out. I made him shoot, and it just happened to be better than his normal shot. I made the AI, AI on hard mode better, I get but crushed. not impossible on Coley defense in the spring summer. Basically, I, mean, I was better at guessing and wait at waiting for the the, the goal to get bigger. I was better in winter because. Uh, because the AI had a harder time shooting it into the, like, the super narrow goal. Oh, because he didn't really know how to as well. Um, so let's read a little bit about this. Printed out the instructions. No! Oh! Oh, not... Okay, I thought it said it, it can be sold. No, it cannot be sold by somebody else, which makes sense. Um, you did something wrong there, like at the beginning. So the so the computer's <sighs> name is Daisy, which possibly is from um, Space Odyssey 2001, where the computer sings. Carriage built for two, I think, is the name of the title, but it starts off with Daisy, Daisy, and it gets slower and slower. Shut the door. So we have visitors. They don't want to hear us yelling, I'm sure. Um, do, 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 do. Mount up on your power sphere on the field to compete against another person or Daisy, an AI drone who makes up for lack of precision with enthusiasm. With five different selectable AI skills, you can even have two AI drones play each other and cheer them on from the stands. Whoever scores the most goals within the time limit or sudden death playoff in case of a tie wins. Play one of four seasonal variations, spring, summer, fall, winter, to find out who truly is the Electro Ball champion. So your daisy is a doozy. <laughs> Uh, exact. Oh, what? Da, 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 da. Imagine if this AI would be adapted to combat and the speed of the game. Replays would have been have been nice. Oh, maybe has room for replays. You'd have to store a lot of data. You'd have to to do replays. You'd have to store timing and joystick direction. I wonder how much that would add up. You'd have to store an initial state and a roll. Now we're gonna play. Oh yeah, you can read for a bit. Mm -hmm. So you did fall? You just did fall, right? No. Okay. Human, medium, three. Yep. I'm just Where think, was I? I'm thinking about Where replays. We? You'd have to store the a rolling memory of the last X seconds, say five seconds. Um, you'd have to store an initial state at all times. No, the initial state. Well, yeah. not necessarily. You could work backwards from a final state, but say you have to store initial state, and then joystick movements. Well, every time you bounce, you would have to remember where you were and where you bounced to, and then you could nope. recreate, because because you don't really control your movement very much. Mm. I guess you, you actually do control your movement a little bit, it's just really subtle. So it's actually harder than it seems. I did have more RAM left, but it might have been close to record a replay. Probably ask PitCat developers how they did theirs. Yeah, that would be the best people to ask, because they... Yeah, they were able to do replays quite far back. Okay, let's do it. Who am I? Am I blue? Nope, red. And I'm losing. <laughs> Probably knowing who you are helps a lot. It does help a little. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, my God. But So in this game, you have a big goal. Oh, it's huge. With a goalie. Oh, oh the goalie does move. Okay. It seemed like the goalie oh, was I can moving. Oh, you got it. Just in. 
See, that's a problem too. I didn't realize that a moving coconut still doesn't help. When I don't move them, Daisy seems like the name of a very high... Oh, 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 oh. Oh, so you control the goalie? Yeah, up and down. Oh, okay. It's the same so, as so you where kinda, you control yourself and the goalie at the same time. Yeah, so you kind of have to stop uh, moving your guy for a second and then go move the goalie, which ah, does present problems. Ah, 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 no. Oh. The problem for try. me is that I am useless at controlling myself thus far. <laughs> and the computer isn't useless. Yes. <laughs> yeah, he's very skilled at controlling himself. No, he's not like he's not ridiculously good at it. But he has some like some capability of like controlling his movement. Yeah. Uh compared to me. Oh. Uh and so it's like something I like I need to get. Oh, Come on. Like, I need to get a grip on the movement. Get a grip on it. That's what I was telling you. Get a better grip on your joystick. You're going like this. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. Mine. That's a different stream. Oh. That's an entirely different stream. <laughs> uh, I wasn't even thinking that. <laughs> Filth. Oh, 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 oh. What I found four, funny four, is I'm that I was, I was at, I was at a much closer, uh, I would, it was more, I was more on par on heart because, because the, the, uh, medium AI is, wasn't oh. great at timing up the, the squeezing and, and opening of the, of the goal. Oh. And so I figured out that one thing. And so like. Uh, I could aim at it a bit. That makes sense. Come on. Oh! It seemed like the AI, it shot a lot, but it was just sort of, it was just sort of shooting in the area that the full-size goal might be. Yes. So it wasn't really aiming and timing. So the one thing is that uh, you yes. move, you move slower when you have the ball. Not much. Yeah. But like. Which is, makes sense. Right? It's, it's. It's tricky to get it past the other guy. I think the big problem for me that I hadn't clued into yet was to That's like... That's the best way to do it, is take it right up to the goal. And yeah, yeah. So you That's know exactly. the only thing I was able to I mean, it's hard to do that way, but... That was the only way I was able to get anything close. Ah! What? Oh my god, it's tied. Almost down. Down to the last minute. Nope, 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 nope. Get it. Yes. Just have to hold it. Oh no, we're not down to the last minute. You can't hold it. There's, can't. No, there's no holding it in this There game. isn't, because... Yes, there's only That's getting holding more. It. Holding it is getting more. <laughs> yes. Having yeah. a lead. Maintaining a lead, yeah. Yes. Okay, medium. Kicking ass on medium. Well, it seems like you move slower when you have the ball. Like, it seems like they can accelerate quicker than you. Yeah, okay. I guess I might be seeing... Misunderstanding what's happening. feels that way? Yes! Yeah. Defeated him. Uh, James is, pretty, is carrying the goal, ball pretty much into the goal. Yes. Two-player next? Sure. Uh, he says if you ram the ball into the goalie, the ball will be knocked loose. Yeah, so I'm, you got to shoot beforehand. You can't I, walk I am, it in. Yeah. I am doing that. Because I... Yeah, you can't walk it in. Oh, oh, it just starts again. I don't want that. Human, human. 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 Uh, which one do we want to play? We haven't done spring yet, so we should do We spring. know what spring is. Yeah. We could do winter. Sure. Okay, I am blue. Darcy is red. Oh, don't be sad, James. I'm very sad, and I'm very blue. Ah, oh, I should have tried to shoot. Oh. It's an opportunity, and I missed it. Well, 
Well, the thing about this one is you don't have to... I didn't even shoot that. Yeah, you I did. hit you. <laughs> yeah, no, I literally did. Yeah. Um, if, you, if somebody else has the ball and you hit them, you can... Uh, you can steal it, or if you press the button, you make them shoot it. Oh, yeah. Well, that's how it it's seems to work. Times. See, that's, yum, that yum, 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 yum. It is tree time. No! No! Oh! Nobody likes you! Oh, did you see all that? I did. It was crazy. I know. <laughs> I was very happy to have stopped your evil ah. plan. Ah! No! <laughs> no! I know it's tree time, uh, but it's difficult. No, it's not it's difficult. Oh, if we're playing two player. You can just like do nothing. Treat time. Treat time. Treat time. It's treat time for little kitties. Nobody can see. Oh. Uh, Honest, we're feeding them. No, <laughs> 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 he's gonna ding it again. Oh, that's right. I was just gonna give it to him. That is not allowed. Ding it. Ding it. Hmm. Ding He's it. Like... Ding it. They're distracted. Ding it. Come on. Ding it. How much? So distracted. Nope. Come on. Ding it. There, there you go. go. It's a very soft one, but <laughs> hit him in the head with it. <laughs> but he did it. Atari's really fast. He is fast. Fast with the food. It is one is number one motivator. <laughs> Just gonna get it. Come get it. Oh, I'll make him. I'll make him try and run for it this time. He is pretty fast. Okay, ready? Ready? <laughs> Good kitty. Now I'll throw it to the invisible cat in the hall. One more. <laughs> one more. Good kitty. All done. Hide it. <laughs> Hide it. Hide it. Okay. We're going to start this over, even though I am too ahead. Because <laughs> we stopped and there was not enough time for Darcy to catch up. Or there might have been. But... Okay. Okay. The ball goes to me, the coin flip. Oh! Booyah! I agree with the first part. <laughs> what? Boo. Agree? Boo? Uh, <laughs> not, no, no yas, just the boos. This is kind of good because then you don't have to work. Oh, what? <laughs> Look at that no! rebound from across the field. So many shots on goal. Oh, 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 almost one in mine. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, I tried my trick again, but it did not work. No, 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 no. Oh, ho, ho. whoa, what a play. Ooh, nobody likes you. <laughs> whoa, that was close. second <laughs> and trade it back to you oh close no. oh thank you for a bounce thank you for a bounce So slidey. <laughs> it is the winter, so the ice, the field is very icy. There's a lot of things going on in winter, <laughs> hey? There is.
His use of the, the missile for those barriers is really, really cool. Of moving in and out, so you can't go right up to the goal and do what I do against the computer. Oh, good shot. You're in a spinning ball, too. What? We're just... What the hell just happened there? It just bounced just... off something and went in. <laughs> ah! It, like, I don't think... Did anybody even touch that ball? I don't know. It might have been just bad timing. Because I think it uh, was from the kickoff and went boop into the goal. Oh my god. Late game catching up. Pressure's on. Darcy's getting skills. Oh. No! It's not gonna trickle in again. Actually, that would have been a goal for me. I don't know why I'm going no. Ball is hard to get. <laughs> oh, you you can go behind because it's yours. Oh, no, it's yours. I think that was a bug. How, yeah, because I think maybe you. I, maybe, I couldn't go. Maybe I got close and you bumped me in or something. Yes, I was definitely happens. behind the line. Did you see that? That wasn't right. I don't think. No. I that, definitely felt privileged <laughs> <laughs> to be behind that line. Uh, oh, if you push him Mike. continuously, you can get through. Oh, okay, so that's, that's part cool. of it. Yeah, yeah, that that's is cool. cool, but it takes a while. <laughs> okay, so let's do. I can't. I can't do options. That was my solution for how to deal with the ball blazer problem. That is, you you can run right up to the goal and fire it in. Oh, so you are a ball. So when you hit it, you bounce. Mm. That's why you bounce off everything because you're a ball. Nice. Is that what you're saying? Oh, I know, but player one, I'm just just making fun. <laughs> uh, we will play spring, or not spring. Um, yeah, spring. yeah, spring. Let's do it. Now we have to have goalies, which is a big pain in the ass. He's on a breakaway. Oh, the goalie intercepts him. Oh, this is where angles come in in this um, version. Oh, just snuck it in. Hi. Hi, Pixel. Thank you for uh, gracing us with your presence. Oh. He was sniffing for treats. He's like, no treats? I'm out of here. Oh, no, no, no. I think thinking my goalie. Damn it. Oh, there it is. I bounced. I, oh. <laughs> one, one. <laughs> I so deserved. I, I so deserved. I that. ran into your goalie and he kicked it away. Oh, right to you. That was deserved. That was pathetic. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. I can't claim that. Oh, I can't claim that. Goal. That is partly luck. It's partly I, luck. Well, I did shoot on purpose. It was a very good I, angle. Yeah, it was. I, I can't claim that every time the, the goalie has bounced something, it was me, but most of the time it was. <laughs> Which is advantage you because it means that I've stopped. Oh. Oh, get up there, goalie. Nope, nope, nope. Block it. Ugh. Ugh, it's the momentum. Uh oh, block it. He's coming. Oh, yeah! That's what you do. That's mm. what you do. You go straight for the goalie, and then you get to an angle where you could either kick it straight or you do an angle. I mean, it's hard very hard to set that up 
because you have to be in. Ooh. Oh. Ooh, it was close. This reminds me a lot of hockey. Um, the original ice hockey or hockey by Activision. Woo! It's just so so well done. I'm not sure this is good for joysticks though. <laughs> it's a bit it's a bit rough, especially the way you're using it. No, I'm not doing anything you're not doing. <laughs> uh, I don't you, know about that. It's too know. bad. You told me to come here and play games. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> I play them. Boy, I play them. <laughs> ice hockey. Yes, ice hockey. Um, ice hockey is so much fun. Two player. No, 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 no. Nope. Don't worry. I wanted to shoot it this way. Not <laughs> at your you, goal. You wanted to rebound it? Ugh. I won! I won! <laughs> Somehow good job. I won. Good job. Nobody knows how. That was a good game. We uh, gotta quit now. We have to burn the Atari now. I'm sorry. Burn the house down. <laughs> That's good. Uh, this is the least random version, uh, in my honest opinion. Yes. Where it's there's no movement, there's no weird goals, there's just goalie and the opponent. Yeah, yeah. And you have to play both of them. Yep. That is the, the purest version of this. But if you want craziness and a whole bunch of stuff, not James's game. <laughs> Trust. <laughs> it's not, obviously. I, I, there, you have a fighting chance against me. I have me. a fighting chance. <laughs> That's but all I, I ask for, I a still, fighting chance. I still enjoy it quite a bit. It, it's, it's amazing. Like simple, yeah, it's really good. Amazing two-player game. And there's not enough oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. two-player games. It's the sort of game, like... Often it's like this, like a simple game is yeah. the sort of game that you can do lots of play in, right? Like, yeah. yeah. And usually, because it's, it's hard to do an AI for these types of games mm -hmm. because there's so much that can go on. But he's also, I'm gonna play against the hard. Um, uh, but play in spring. Yeah. Oh God, spring. Um, okay, so hard three minutes spring. Okay. Because I did defeat medium, but not... So I'm red. Oh my god. He scored immediately. Yeah, but you let him score by by, pretend, by thinking you were blue and not using your <laughs> well, goalie. For, forgetting about the goalie was yeah. my, my fatal flaw there. Let's see. Let's see some angles. People praise Gunfight's AI. There, I used my tactic. I went straight for him at the top, and then did, um, oh god. Sometimes, sometimes you're expecting there to be, like, some rational movement, and the randomness uh, or pattern of the, yeah. of the AI, is which isn't really AI, but just having a pattern is harder to deal with because you're like why did they turn there <laughs> yeah it's like, oh they turned there because no they have sense. a pattern because <laughs> they're not actually trying to screw you over <laughs> they're just they're like a rabbit trying to get away unpredictable and, and humans yeah. look for patterns and so when we don't see one we're like what the hell is happening yeah hi atari spring are you showing us all your butt all everybody wants to see your butt i'm actually holding my own not just barely. Oh god. Angles. It's all about that angle shot. Snarf, 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 snarf. And using your goalie. See the thing that makes the big yes. difference with the goalie is that when you can't when you don't have a goalie, you have to position yourself on like the slippery floor of the <laughs> bouncetron. <laughs> with the goalie, you can immediately switch and like have someone to goalie <sighs> with. Yeah, I like it. Oh my god! See that goal went right between his 
right right between the post and him. And are you complaining? No. That's crazy. Oh. That would have been an amazing goal. Oh, that was a good oh, one. That was a good one. That was an amazing goal. Yeah. Kicking. Yeah. Which difficulty? Right now he's playing hard. hard. Right now he's playing hard. But I believe there's a harder level too, where the goal there's a handicap. Yeah, I guess you could you could make it like if you wanted to, you can make it uh, obvious which level you were on with like oh. these colors, like the white yeah. border could be like red or something oh, hard or whatever. Yes, yeah, which is very useful in competition, like if you're submitting high scores or something. Because you could say, oh, I did this on hard and it was actually easy. Oh, okay. It says, for oh, further difficulty, you can set the AI uh, to difficulty switch B and yourself to difficulty switch A. Uh, and in that game, your goalie will move slower than theirs does. Oh, okay. I'd just be happy with a win on hard. That was terrible. Ugh, I do on. like the little dance. It's infuriating when it's the other guy's character, <laughs> but it does it does suit the game. It does have the little the little uh, touchdown dance or whatever score dance. No. Whoa! Oh. I have to shoot it right away. That guy's so fast at so stealing. Cheeky. Oh, that's how I that's how I felt playing against Damn you. It. I was just like. And against the computer. Exactly yeah. what you said. It was like, wow. Ah! Oh, no! He's winning now! It's true. He is winning. He. Your Atari system, which is, is obviously a he. He yeah. is now crushing you. Don't. I'm assigning it he. Oh! Uh, for the Portuguese people, if they're still in the chat, what is an Atari 2600? Is it a he or a she? Destroying me. Because <laughs> everything in the world, in Spanish and Portuguese, have a sex. Same with French. You know, any language that has that kind of... Oh, uh, good goal, but infuriating me. I was so ahead. I was 9 to 6 at one point. Oh no, don't kick it that way. No! Oh, oh, that was a good shot. Ah, there we go. He in <laughs> Germany could be it. <laughs> uh, but it does show you've gotten a lot better at this game. In the first version, you were getting waxed pretty hard. Now you're holding your own. Yeah, it's, I, it's I funny, the moment I read that, it went. Straight downhill. <laughs> it did. It went bad, <laughs> bad, bad. But I, I'm doing a lot better against Hardy. Yeah, yeah. And it is a formidable opponent. Mm -hmm. And even easy is, you know, for somebody who's just starting out, is a pretty good opponent too. Unbelievable game. Uh, uh, Mike uh, Lita. Lita. Mike Lata, are you planning on putting this on cartridge? James' defense fell apart the last minute. It did. It was bad. It was bad. And my, and my offense. I was not getting any goals. It's just terrible. We we're just like, yeah. I'm actually in discussion at the moment. Awesome. Because nice. I think this would do very well. I think, especially if once people like play it for a bit, um, which they can because you can download it and play it, they will understand how awesome it is. Lack of fitness. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. Uh, so congratulations. Uh, we didn't find any flaws. No bugs. Because it's, it's in its final final stage. So, yeah. It's all solid screens. No flickering. Yeah, the one thing. I knew there was something, but it, like the getting past the thing, you can get through it. You just have to keep pushing against the thing. Yeah. Which, is, yeah. which was apparently not a bug. It's part of the game. Yeah. Well, thank you, Dan. Comes to fruition, uh, I think you'd like what I have in mind for the cover art. Oh, nice. The cover Actually, art's awesome. Probably like a 3D perspective, spinning guys and the goals in the distance. 
It's also a nice development process. I uh, was much fun fixing the weird stability issues as the game. Well, that's good. Some people don't like fixing the bugs. They just like the beginning development of like, oh, how can I make the game? And then, then they get it working and then it just drops off and they abandon the project because yeah, yeah. fixing the bugs is... In the ass. It takes a long time. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Um, so, thank you. Oh, we can still hear the video again. I should mm, somehow get rid of that in our main screen so you can't hear it because that'd make it a lot easier. Um, ah. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in today. Uh, so... So what's coming up, there is a possibility of an exclusive work in progress premiere of a pretty awesome game for the 7800 on Tuesday, but maybe not. So I don't want to, don't want to say right now. Um, so if that doesn't happen, it's a possibility. Um, we're going to play some 8-bit games, play Scramble and Time Pilot are two super fun flying games for the Atari 8-bit. Unless something else comes out, because those are older games. Um, they can be bumped. Nobody's like developing, their any, yeah, developing yeah. them or anything. Not a big deal. Um, so thanks for tuning in. Uh, oh, also, next Friday, there's no show. Great game. I really like it. Yeah, it is an amazing game. Or which one are you talking about? This one? Yeah. Um, that we just played. Actually, we should uh, talk about the games today. Space Pac-Man. Super awesome. Just a couple little bugs, and yeah, yeah. he's there, I think. I mean, we didn't play it all the way to the end, because it gets Where the, really the hard. The only bugs I remember was, like, the credit screen and the zero on the title screen. Yep. That's that was it. it? That's all and we Nothing saw, that right? affects the game. Yeah, there was yeah. no... No, nothing that so. was weird. I, Sometimes I, I didn't eat a thing, and I thought I should, but I don't... I didn't. The, the I, eating I, is weird on that game. You need your mouth to hit the thing. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. it's not just collide with it. Your mouth has to be over it, the middle of your body, which is very unusual for a twenty six hundred game. It's yeah, usually yeah. collision. You're done. Yeah. yeah. Thrust. Do you mean the jitter that was on the title on the credit screen, or was there jitter during the game? I think somebody said there was, and we just didn't notice it because oh, okay. we were just like too into the game. Because we were like, whoa, our face was jittering. <laughs> <laughs> um, awesome awesome game it's that close to being done and yeah, getting yeah. ready for release um first game around three thousand points oh, okay uh hopefully he's he saw that ricardo pym saw that um and then we played electro ball which is an amazing single yeah, player yeah. and two player games. game yeah, yeah. yeah two very very solid games today um so i'm really really happy about that um yeah so thanks for tuning in thrust mike Lata. Lata. i will not remember that Lata. i should just think that's french Lata. no because yeah Lata. that's Lata. Yeah. yeah that's what you were doing you were treating it as though it was french no i was saying letau letau yeah that's which right. also those yeah. letters can do letau said he wrong <laughs> Something. <laughs> Lito? Lita. Lita. Yeah, you just have to change your last your last name. <laughs> it's from a U to a W, and all your problems will be solved. Just like mine, I need to change my spelling from an E to an A for Brian, and all my problems will be solved. And drop the second capital in my last name, and get rid of the apostrophe. All three of those things haunt me. Why, what does the apostrophe thing do? Computers hate my last name. Oh, they They're should like, hate it. They're like, an apostrophe? That means something that isn't part of your name. Last that... names don't have apostrophes. We're going to put that in the next field. <laughs> last names don't have two capital letters. What are you talking about? <laughs> um, who else? Oh, Thrust and Mike have been talking up a storm. Dan, uh, Crossbow... Uh, Cytronic, thank you for watching uh, for the first time. Hopefully you tune in again. Uh, Carl G, Ricardo Pym, thank you for your awesome game. Micron Bus, uh, Bratwurst, thank you for your uh, joysticks. They took a beating from Darcy today with his crazy... 
<laughs> playing like that. <laughs> Ask Ramirez. I don't know what to tell you. That's, just how, that's how it is. That's how it goes. Victor M. <laughs> yeah, that's the way it goes. Uh, and that's it. And everybody else who is lurking. Thanks for tuning in. Every Friday, everybody from Brazil. Um, all Ricardo Something Pim's friends and fans. Nothing left. Did we hear from Brazil? I guess they're not here. Uh, there was a couple of people. Somebody. No, what I mean about the the isn't it Harry oh, a boy or a girl? We did not. I don't think any of them are left. They all ran. Quick. In Germany, it's a boy. We got that. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if it carries over perfectly from language to language. I bet a bo a good chunk of it. Does. I don't think it does. No. Hmm. Hmm. Because I asked um, Giovanna, and things are kind of grouped like electronics are all kind of the same and like certain things group together so you don't have to memorize every single thing but you do have to memorize a lot it's the most ridiculous thing i've ever heard same with uh what english spelling is terrible like spanish is awesome for spelling for pronunciation you look at a word you can pretty much figure out how to say it because it's mm. very literal. Like you say every letter. Mm -hmm. French on the other end of the spectrum is probably one of the worst. You say almost none of the letters. And English is somewhere in between where it's just but, a big but mess. English, but English is a mess because Weird. because it borrows words. Yeah. Because it's yeah. not because it's not like essentially it's not egotistical about words it's like oh it uses the words that exists and doesn't recreate yeah, we'll a take word that or one whatever. yeah we'll take and, yours and that's a problem when it comes to like consistency for oh, spelling for sure but mess. that's not the only reason i mean like deer and deer and deer and <laughs> oh my god yeah the homonyms and deers and like words that are singular deers. and plural oh no pattern <laughs> yeah oh my goodness it's a mix of several languages yeah. english is just a mess but it's flexible that's the strength of english yeah different languages have benefits flexible. for different things that you want to do so like there are things that you can do with english and this is true for other languages for different things but the things you can do like verbing semi nouns. semi poetic verbing things nouns. verbing nouns like you can do things in english like Verb like like poetic type things you can draw yes. because there's so many different words for this thing it means that you can play a lot more with it yes but it's not yeah anyways oh james asked earlier and you didn't answer i didn't see it sorry what is the cable coming off that cart in your uh xl 100 xl4 the cartridge is the avg cart i'll pull it up so you can see it oh my god it's so tight maybe i won't <laughs> um the cartridge is the avg cart the average cart and a cord plugs into it that goes into the sio port which is pretty much like a USB port. Like, literally, it's the predecessor to the USB port. Yeah, that's The cool. same person that worked on that worked on the USB. Um, so it can emulate things that plug into the SIO port, like floppy drives, tape drives, anything. Yeah, which yeah. is the awesomeness about the SIO port. Everything plugged into yeah, it yeah. and daisy-chained. Uh, you could yeah, have, yeah. like, 128 which or Which is two very USB of it or 256 things just daisy chaining forever oh my god it's not forever 256, 256 times well it would fill a room pretty good <laughs> it would be a uh, fire hazard before <laughs> <laughs> and some sort of hazard um ah! comparing like the commodore 64 to the atari if i had both of them in front of me back in the 80s um and I was told about the different abilities of them, I'd be like, oh, the Atari is awesome. Mm. Way better. But all my friends had a Commodore 64, and I knew no one with an Atari. So having a I, Commodore I, was way better. I was very ignorant of uh, Atari. Uh, so was I. I didn't even know it existed, really. Everybody had a Commodore in Vancouver, in Langley, anyway. Um, you pop in a floppy disk, you turn on the computer, it can auto-boot the game. There's no command line, oh. comma eight, comma one messing around. That's it's like, so weird but that that's you had to good, do that. But like, it's good because it taught you things. It, yeah, that, I was just gonna say it's the whole it's the whole argument between things being easier or things being yeah. just hard enough that you don't get too soft, and like it that's 
in order to know which is best, you have to. It's like a, it's situational. It's totally situational. There are it things is. that like you're better off having to do the hard way, and other things the, you're not. The one thing that the C sixty four has over this is the SID chip. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. I wouldn't say destroys the the. Um, but th does this have Atari colors, or is it limited as oh, no. well? This has, so it has all yeah. It says the colors destroy the Commodore. It's Commodore sixty four. It's sixteen. Yeah. 16 terrible colors. 16 colors of which half were terrible <laughs> and the other half were like okay. Okay. They were I mean, fine. The they blacks fine. and grays and whites were fine. Yeah. The and really boring ones that you could scarcely go wrong with. The two, they were I, fine. I like the other the, ones sucked. I like the blues. Like yeah, the, the blue light, the blue was nice. The light blue and the dark blue were fine. I think there was like a Which is probably why they made them like a the, pinkish red or something that was Ugh, or purpley yeah. or something that was fine <laughs> but because you didn't have any other colors to like contrast with it yeah it was boring on its own it needed to be like uh you yeah. know mixed with anyways yeah yeah the um the atari colors like oh my god so good so good so, so good. good yeah um anyway uh, although I have a few issues with my FujiNet, that could be the lack of knowledge in the 8-bit line or something goofy. Probably goofy because my FujiNet works flawlessly on my 800XL. But uh, but then my but you did have confused you did you were confused at the beginning. You were like, what do I? How do I? Uh, yeah. Or was that the that was, was that the cart or was that the thing? My XEGS was messing up. But you had the thing plugged in the back and you had to like. That pretends oh. to be a floppy disk and let you do network stuff. Mm. That's not what you guys are talking about. Never mind. No, no, um, no, no. But it had it used FujiNet. FujiNet wasn't was, it called FujiNet? Uh, yeah, we were using this before. Yeah, and you yep. did have. What I'm saying is that it worked, but you had difficulty with it. So it yeah. could just be figuring out how it works how because work. it wasn't. Yeah. It took a little bit to figure out how it worked. Yeah, I was having trouble or something. Yeah. But that was mostly not me knowing. This, yeah, that's what this, I mean. You, you may just need to like figure it out. That's what the, I'm saying. It might think, not be broken. It might not be wonky. I think the FujiNet pretty much replaces everything because this plugs directly into the SIO port. Yeah. And it can play cartridge yeah. games right off of this too. Yeah. Um, but it takes a bit to boot up, if I remember correctly. Like it takes a little while. Whereas that is like right Yeah, away. it's like... It's like using a floppy drive. It's like, or a tape drive. It's like, yes. well, let's load this program. Yeah. Oh, does that take a long time? Sorry, that's just how that it is. Does too. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. So, so right now, I've that was actually part of the problem. Is he was like, so it's not doing a thing, and I'm like, I think it's like, don't Give it a you bit. need to wait several seconds before you judge that it's broken? <laughs> yeah. Because he was expecting, like, yeah, it was pretty funny. <laughs> yes, exactly. Like you were just like in the wrong mode. Yeah, the if you have it cartridge like in your brain, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. it was not. You're dumb. not dumb. Like you no. just hadn't, you just hadn't clued in that this is not it's a like, cartridge yet. Oh wait, yeah. it's not right. instant like consoles. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. The like we, loading it off <laughs> cartridges is, is instant. So yeah, using SIO port, you have to wait. So using this is slower. Using things off cartridge like AVG card, which is why I have it plugged in most of the time. But this can go on the internet. Mm-hmm. And this can access things on your hard drive and load them right from your computer yeah. over your internal network. Yeah. Super awesome. Yeah. And you can go to other people's computers yeah. on the internet and browse their yeah. software and load it off Do you have any their... viruses to worry about? Do they, do they have viruses for the Atari computer? Maybe. Does that mean you have... No, but your computer doesn't have any on it, so... It... I swear there was Does a it... Commodore 64 virus, but you'd have to do very specific things like load something and then be able to load something else i can't remember well yeah like it oh and you can copy those files from other people and copy them to your local sd card yeah, yeah super awesome like if you just bought one this would be the one probably because it yeah. has wife it has so much built into it yeah yeah see and you can daisy chain it. yeah it's, it's pretty <laughs> awesome and yeah. it has a micro sd card it's, and it's micro right sd yeah. yeah as opposed to like the plus card which doesn't have a micro sd but they're working on a solidified uno plus cart which is kind of like this right right for the car for the um 2600 yeah. uh yes the the uno and plus card are the same architecture they both use the chip same chip the uno and plus card um oh alna fur's here don't don't ask me alna fur is the guy <laughs> <laughs> yeah um 
Okay, that's it. I think we're we're done for today. I've done a bit of chatting after too. And Atari's here to say goodbye to. So goodbye everyone and Al Nefer, because I think I missed your name at the beginning uh, when we said it last time. So we'll be back um, Tuesday mm, evening, but we may move it to middle of the day because I think Tanya's off that day. And that's more, I think people are able to watch it easier. I'm not sure. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Thank you, Mike. Thank you. Oh, James, I'll be getting started on your Intellivision tomorrow. Oh, awesome, Crossbow. I sent, for people who don't know, I sent my Intellivision to uh, Crossbow to get upgraded to RGB so I can play some Intellivision games on a, like a one-off special show, just doing some Intellivision games like Intellivania. This is Castlevania for the Intellivision and a bunch of other homebrew games. So that will be Very cool. A lot of fun. Um, yep, take care. So see you next time and uh, have a great weekend. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.